Friends, welcome back to my series, Learn to Earn More. Today, we have been talking about how to increase sales of your organization. It's a thought process which is very important for both the entrepreneur the, and the professionals who is working in a company. We have first talked about the general concepts which are there. Then I talked about the competition, how competition is to be taken into account. Now I'm going to talk about sales. There will also be some subsequent videos on other part of the sales so that you have a comprehensive idea about the sale. Sales personnel focus on sales in a particular market, clients and in geographical locations. These are normally provided by the business development people who assess the quantum of sales, the period of sales and the where exactly the sale is going to take place. With this, the sales set their goals and try to identify new customers in a, the market assigned and develop their sales strategy. I would now try to suggest to you some plan for sales. First thing you should do is reduce as per the specification indicated by the various other department because that is extremely important that uh, you make what is required to to contract and retain the customer and the loyalties when then decide about the distribution channels how will you distribute the product will you distribute the product through wholesaler, retailer and how much of stock each would be taking and thereby you create a logistic plan for the area which you are going to serve. You also have to decide the pricing policy and the pricing norms. The pricing policy and pricing norms are again decided at a very senior level but you should be able to plan your receivables uh, and the terms and conditions of your receivables including for damages, damages, uh, goods returned that you should be also be able to take into hand. Look at the compliance of the tax. You need to know about the taxes compliances. Then you also have to have idea about the stocking policy. Who will stock how much? What will be the period of stocking? How will the stocks be replenished? You have to tie that with your production side also. Then you decide upon the time of entry, market entry. Market entry may require advertisement may require promo material so be conscious of the fact and make provision for that and synchronize promo promo material on with the other as required this thing after that you focus on product deliverables what you have uh, wanting to deliver instead of criticizing the other person's product but you try to Tell your own features and try to create a customer's loyal base. Then you should get customer's feedback. Customer's feedback about the product, about the deliveries and any other problem they had face. Also remember, customer is a very key part in a sales uh, strategy. Customer retention. Uh, customer satisfaction, customer loyalties are, are very important. So you must keep that in mind. Of course, what I have suggested to you is just a bare outline 
to provide you a basic thought process how to go about arranging a, your sales. Hope it can help you to streamline your sales policy.